I'm just happy about God. I'm excited about God because uh, over 40 some years, he has been my joy. Yeah. He's been my peace. He's been my keeper. Praise the Lord. And, and he has shown himself. I may not been all that God has wanted me to be, praise God, but he has been everything and more exceedingly and abundantly above what I can even ask or think. That has been my God. He goes beyond my, my thinking. Where I stop thinking, God is still moving. Where I stop seeing, God is still going. Praise God. So I just thank him this morning, praise the Lord. And let's continue to praise him. Let's continue to give him the glory that he deserves. Praise God. We're going to read the opening scripture this morning, uh, coming out of uh, Psalms 40, uh, 40, excuse me, 40 chapter uh, 1 uh, to the 8th verse. Praise the Lord. And uh, it was David's uh, psalm that he wrote to the chief musician about God, about God answering his prayer. Praise the Lord. We, we know this morning we have a prayer answering God. The Bible says that he hears the prayer of the righteous. Praise God. So saints of God, let's, let's understand this morning that God hears us. He may not move when we want him to. He may not happen uh, when we think it should happen. But our God, listen, our God is a God of purpose. And he moves according to his will, according to his desire. Praise the Lord. He moves according to the things that he has purposed in, in our lives. Praise God. So just, just, just wait on him. Just have that patience. And that's, that's what he's talking about in this psalm. Uh, the things I'm going to read to you, uh, they are very important. And, and they, are, they, are, they are so powerful this morning, the things that were said. Praise the Lord. And you may have heard it several times, but this morning I'm, I'm saying to you, uh, let's, let's hearken to it. Let's give ear to it. Let's hear it with our hearts. Psalms 41 says, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the marty clay, and set my feet up on a rock and established my going. He has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. He says, many shall see it in fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respect of not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord, my God, are thy wonderful, wonderful works, which thou hast done, and thy thoughts, which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned upon and order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. My ears, has thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering has thou not required. Then said I, lo, I come on the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. This is so powerful this morning, the things that are said. The summer says, I wait patiently. I wait patiently upon God. Praise God. You know, we, patience has to be our pace, praise the Lord. And, and, and uh, patience means we have to endure. We have to keep trusting and we got to keep holding on regardless of the storm, regardless of the wind. I, you know, saying last week, we got to withstand uh, the trials. We got to withstand the tests, praise God. You got to just, you got to go through trusting and looking at him, praise the Lord. He said, I, he, he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He inclined, God heard inclined he bowed down and heard my cry praise God heard the things that I said I'm a child you know I know you have children sometimes they're talking you may bow down to to hear what he said what did you say baby you know did, what, let me let me understand you I couldn't hear you good God that's what God he he hears us he wants to hear us because he look what he says he says he says he brought me up also out of a horrible pit a horrible pit and out of the Mari clay and set my feet, my feet, your feet, our feet up on a rock and establish my goings. And look what he says. He said, he also put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it. Many are going to see what? See the praise, going to see the, the joy that I have in God. See what God has established. See what God has put me. 
Many are going to see it. They're going to see it. Praise God. And when they see it, praise God, and fear shall trust in the Lord. They're going to say, they shall see it and fear because they're going to see what God is able to do. He, they're going to see the greatness and the power of God. Listen, this is what God wants to manifest through our lives. This is why I was talking about keeping the passion and being steadfast. Praise God. And he goes on to say, blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust. And respect of not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh Lord, my God, are thy wonderful works. He said, which thou hast done, and thy thoughts, which are to usward, they cannot be reckoned upon in order to thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. He said, the wonderful works of God, the things that God has done. He said, I can't put a number on it. I cannot put a number on it. I remember they sing a song, count your blessings, name them one by one. Praise God. It, we'd, be here, we'd be here forever and ever trying to count the blessings of God and the things that God has done. Even before we came to him, how God even kept us. He was watching over us then and the foolish things that we did. done. I know he watched over me. The foolish things that we did. God didn't let us be consumed. He didn't let us be taken by, by, the de by death and the hand of the enemy, uh, just destroy our lives. Listen, I'm saying this because we got something to praise him for this morning. We got something to praise him for this morning. He says, sacrifice and offering thou didst not desire. My ears has thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offering has thou not required. He said, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will. Oh, my God. He said, yea, thy law is within my heart. That's where it's all got to be. Praise the Lord. Nothing can happen if it's not in your heart, if it's not in, in, inside of you. We said we're going to serve God with all our heart, with all our soul. Praise God with all that's within us. This is what God desires this morning. Let me tell you, this is what God desires. He said, he don't want just offering and sacrifices and a whole lot of church rituals and a whole lot of ceremonial things, praise God, and, and all that, praise the Lord, that, that we do, the church stuff. You know what God wants? God wants people to come to him with a true heart, with a contrite heart. They want to come with a contrite heart, with a, with a broken spirit, with a heart and a mind to worship and to serve him. Oh, we praise him this morning. We praise him this morning. Come on, let's pray. Father God, we thank you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Lord God, for your, your great word, your great truth this morning. For you are all things. Your blessings are more than we could ever, ever number. And you continue to bless us. You load us up daily with benefits. You keep watching over us. Oh, we just thank you this morning. For all things, Lord God, we're not looking at our circumstances and situations, Lord God. We're not allowing them to dictate to us who and what you are. Because you are everything. And we stand upon your word, upon your name, Lord God. Our hope is in you. You say, blessed is the man that makes the Lord his trust. Father God, we thank you today. We pray this morning before your presence. We ask you to touch families and homes, Lord God, our loved ones, our, our children, Lord God, even as they prepare to possibly go back to school, Father God, we ask you to watch over them and the teachers, Lord God, and, and, and the things that they, that they may have to encounter, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we, we're in trying times, Lord God, but Lord God, you're able to do all things. There's nothing too hard for you, hallelujah. My trust is in you, and I will not fear. I will not doubt. I'm going to declare your name. I am going to declare your glory. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. We ask you to bless and save and, and to heal, Lord, and to strengthen, Lord God. Lift the heart that's heavy, the mind that's weary, Lord God. Touch the spirit that's doubtful this morning. Oh, Father, we stand before you this morning, and we pray unto you. In the matchless name of Jesus, we ask it all.
Amen, amen. We thank God this morning, saints. God is good. Praise God. Let's praise him. Let's praise him for all that he is this morning. Let's give him the glory that he deserves and only God deserves it. God deserves it, not men, not women, not all the folks we see on television. God deserves the glory this morning. And as people of God, David says something. He said, we got to declare that. We got to keep lifting them up. We, we've got to keep praising them. We can't have with that sad sack spirit. We got to have the, we got to have a spirit of peace and joy. I ain't talking about you got to, you're giggling all the time and, and being silly, but you're showing people that God is able to keep that which I have committed to him. Maybe you might think folks are not watching, but let me tell you something, they are. They got their eyes on you and you got to stand fast. Stand fast in liberty where Christ has set us free and be not entangled again in the yoke of bondage. We talked about Isaiah 33 and 6. We used that one scripture and it says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. That's the stability of our time, trusting God, knowing God, knowing God, having that intimate relationship with him, knowing him, praise God, through the spirit of truth. Through the spirit of truth, we, Lord, we know you because you are God that is holy. That's why he said, you be holy for what? For I am holy. He didn't say be religious and be in somebody's church. He said, be holy as I am holy. Be like me. Be like me. Hallelujah. That's what he's saying. Be like me. We always talk about somebody being like somebody else, you know, definitely in sports. Oh, he's the next this, he's the next that, you know, all these things. Praise God. We want to make folks other folks all the time. He's the next so-and-so. No, gee, God say, no, be like me. Be like me. And he's given us everything that we need in order to live and to walk like him. He said, we got to walk as children of light. Not darkness, but children of light. We were in darkness. We got to begin and we have to walk as children of light, upholding his bloodstained banner, showing the truth of God in our life. So wisdom, the wisdom of God, is what we need. The knowledge of God, listen to me, is what we need. That's the thing that's going to keep us. This is why some of us are fearing and doubting and not holding on to the word. Praise the Lord, because we, with the wisdom and the knowledge of God is not really being effective in our life. We don't really know him. We, we've been in the church and sometimes, sometimes, and I'm not trying to be negative or mean, but sometimes we got, we want to have our mama's salvation. No, you got to get this for yourself. You got your mama's religion, your daddy's religion, praise God. You got to know him for yourself. You got to know who he is. You got to know what he desires out of your life. You got to keep this passion alive within you. The fear of the Lord, the strength of salvation. God is a God that can keep you. He said, I will keep you in perfect peace. Isaiah 26 and 3. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace if your mind is what? Stayed where? On me. Stayed on me. Not on the trouble that's around us. Listen, if your mind is, I'm not saying we push it to the side, don't act like it's not here, but if your mind is constantly and, and continuing on the virus and continuing on all, a lot of things that's going on, praise the Lord. If your spirit gets hooked to a lot of negative stuff, praise the Lord. Those things will push out the, the, push out the, the peace and the joy that God wants to give you. That's why we have to be careful. There's, there's, there's legitimate concerns, but you don't let those concerns Become worried. That's why Jesus says uh, that we that we can't allow those things to cause us to be anxious and cause them to move up on our lives. Praise God. When we we get to the point where we're just nervous and we're a nervous wreck, that means praise the Lord. We're allowing the things around us to disturb our peace. Listen, Jesus said, "My peace I live with you, leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Mine." I'm giving you my peace. I'm leaving you my joy. Praise the Lord. And you can't allow the enemy to come in. That's why I said before, you got to protect the anointing. You got to be steadfast in the things of God. You can't allow all types of things to enter into your life. That's why I said you got to remove all spiritual blockers, everything that's getting in the way. 
Anything that's, that's called you not to look unto the Lord. Jesus said in Matthew 6 and 25, say, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on it. Is, is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? He told them here, he said, in other words, what he's saying is don't get anxious. Don't let anxiety come in. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? I don't know what's happening. Oh, my God. Listen, he said, God is saying to you, listen, I want you to trust me. We have to learn to trust God, man. We have to trust in the integrity of God. Look what Jesus said in St. John 14 and 27. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace. Peace I leave with you. Mm. My peace I give unto you. Jesus, I, ain't gonna, I didn't just leave it. I'm giving it unto you. He, said, he says, I give unto you not as the world giveth, because the world really can't give you peace. The things of the world, the things that surround you, they're temporal. They may last a few years, but after a while, after a while, you look for something else. Because they never feel the hunger and thirst on the inside. There's a hunger and thirst on the inside of us. Hunger and thirst on the inside of us. Some people are still hungry and thirsty. That's why they run from church to church. They run from here to there. Praise God, because they won't go to the church. They want the church to be, be everything they want it to be. No. That's not how it goes. There is no perfect church. There's a perfect God. And the people that come into the church, the people that belong to the church are, are imperfect people that serve a perfect God. There's no perfect pastor. I don't care what, how beautiful his robe is on Sunday. You can get him a golden crown, there is none. If he told you he was, he's a lie. He's a lie this morning. There's only a perfect God. They said, the Bible said, there's none good but one. None good but one. Hallelujah. Look what he says. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. Because let me tell you something about the world. The world will give it and they will snatch it back as fast as they can. Look at all the confusion that, that's in our country, in our nation right now. Confusion all in the leadership, confusion in the states, confusion in the local government, just confusion everywhere. Those things disrupt your peace. That's why the people of God got to be holding on to the things of God. You got to stay steadfast and unmovable and abounding in the things of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, the world giveth. He says, not that the world giveth. He said, he said, I, I give unto you my peace. So he says, since I'm giving you my peace, are you following the word? Since I'm giving you my peace, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your what? Your heart. Let not your heart, let not your mind be troubled. Hmm? Neither let it be afraid. He said, don't let your heart, don't let your mind be troubled. Circumstances, situations are going to arise. Things are going to happen. Hallelujah. You're going to deal with trouble. All that live godly, the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 3rd chapter, all that live godly in Christ Jesus are going to suffer, are going to go through some stuff. You're not immune to this. You're going to go through some things, praise the Lord. But God said, what? Lord said, what? I've given you my peace. The Lord knew he was going to go through some things. He knew the disciples that he was talking to were going to have to go through some situations, circumstances uh, to manifest and to glorify the, him and to, to bring forth the, the church and to do the, thing, the works that they had to do. They were going to go through some things, but he said, I'm giving you my peace. I'm going to give you my spirit. Hallelujah. It's going to abide with you forever. That's why you got to continue to run the race. First Peter 4 and 12. First Peter 4 and 12. And he says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. 
as though some strange thing has happened unto you. Say, think it not strange when fiery trials come. Then we was to bring fiery trials upon you. The world wants to bring fiery trials upon you. Fire makes people move. Fire makes people panic. It'll make people hurt themselves trying to get out. Fire. Fire. He says, think it not strange when fiery trials come upon you. Hmm? He said, think it not strange because they're going to come. But look what he says in 13. He says, but rejoice. What? But rejoice. Rejoice. I can, I can do this. I can praise him. I can still give him the glory in, in a time such as this. Why? Because his joy is in my heart. His peace is in my mind. Praise God. I'm holding on to the things that he has left me. Not in the things, not on the things of this world, but the things he's given. The joy and the peace. All the things that, that he continues to show me. That Knowing that his morning, he's a prayer answering God. We just read the 40th Psalm. He'll, he inclines his ear to hear you, to hear me this morning. Understand something. You are important to God. You are somebody to him. If you're nobody to nobody else, you are somebody to him. Because he loves you. and he lo Let me tell you something. He loves us with a perfect love. And his perfect love is supposed to cast out all fear. When we know that God loves us with a perfect love, we're not walking around here in fear and doubt. We're not walking around here discouraged. Hallelujah. Because I'm trusting in him. And he said he would take care of me. He said he would watch over me. He said he would be there for me. Look what he says. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when, he is glo when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad. He says also with exceeding joy. If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory of God rests upon you. And on, on their part, he is he on their on, on, excuse me. On their part, he is he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is what? He is glorified. He's what? He's glorified. But on your part, he is glorified. If you believe this word this morning, it's saying to us, we got to continue to glorify God. We got to continue to, 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 to do what 1 Peter 5, 5 tells us, 5 and 7, casting all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. Casting all your cares upon him. Because he what? He cares. I said, God, you're important to God. He cares. He cares for us. Hallelujah. Don't lose your passion. Jesus said people would lose their passion. Their love would wax. Don't lose your passion. Keep holding on to all the things that God is saying. Get a hold of this. Hold on to this. Hold on to the glory and the joy of God. Say, Lord, I thank you. You give him the praise. You don't need nobody to, to lead you in praise and somebody leads you in the prayer. Hallelujah. God want to hear from you. I don't need the praise song and the praise leader and all these folks. No, listen, nothing's wrong with it. Hallelujah. Thank God for all of them to lead praise and worship and do the things that they do. All the minstrels I'm praising God for. But what I'm saying, hallelujah, that you don't wait for all that to happen before you can, before you get to uh, get some joy in God. Girl, they playing my song. No. David said he gave me a new song. A new song. A song unheard of. A song that don't nobody know. A song I didn't know. He put a new song in my heart, in my spirit. You need a new song today. Some of us, hallelujah, some of us need a new song. We got to need to let go of the old stuff and move on. So I need a new one. Lord, give me a new song. Give me a, a new worship, a new praise in you. Hallelujah. I want to give you the glory. Knowing that that is the greatest thing, that knowing you, remember I said, knowing God and the importance of knowing God is everything. Look what it says to us in Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. He says, thus says the Lord, 
Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, nor let the mighty man glory in his might. He said, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that, that glorious glory in this. He said, you're going to give glory. He said, this is what you're going to have glory in, not in your strength, not in your wisdom, not in your might, not in your riches, because all that is sinking sand, all that will fade away. He's on glory in that. He said, but let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth. He understandeth. I like that. They said, they said understanding is the, is the truth that you stand under. Understanding is the truth that you stand under. He said, understanding. When I understand and know God, I'm standing under his truth. I'm holding on to what he said. But let him that glory, glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth who? Me. God said, God said, who said this? It started off said, thus said the Lord. I love the, the, the prophets of old because they would go forth and say, thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. It ain't me saying it. It's the Lord saying, I'm just his mouthpiece. Thus says the Lord. They weren't trying to talk to make the people feel good and, 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 and give them a, a, candy, a candy cane, a, a, a candy coated message. They wanted to tell, they want them to know that what thus said the Lord. And they, they, they may have got persecuted and suffered for it, but they wanted to say, thus says the Lord. He said, but let him that glory in this, let him glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, would exercise loving kindness, judgment, righteousness, where? In the earth. For in these things I delight, said the Lord. Let him know me. Because I'm the one that can bring forth judgment. Not the Supreme Court. I can bring forth judgment. I can bring forth righteousness. Hallelujah. In the earth, in your life, in your situation, in your circumstances. Hallelujah. Because the kingdom of God, listen to me this morning, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God standeth sure. It is not shaken, it is not rattled, it does not have a pandemic, it is standing sure this morning. Hallelujah. It is standing sure this morning. Somebody need to praise him. It is standing sure this morning. It is not shaken, it's not rattling, it's not rolling. Hallelujah. It cannot be moved. It cannot be moving. We have a God, listen to me this morning, that is on the throne. That did no party elect. He's on the throne this morning. And that's who we got to stay focused on. That's who we got to stay focused on this morning. Hallelujah. Because all things, this one, listen to me, all things are in his hand. Your stability this morning is in him. Wisdom and the knowledge and salvation of God is in him this morning. Get your mind and your heart away from all this other stuff. Say, Lord, I know that all things are possible. Are possible, not impossible, possible through you. Hallelujah. Because you love me. And you love me with a perfect love. You don't want me to live in fear and doubt, but you want me to uphold his name. We got to be encouraged in him. We got to be steadfast in him. Praise God. That's glory in, in knowing him. Somebody said, what, what y'all happy about? Because God is good. God is good. I've seen people before, they, they get happy about knowing somebody. People are happy about knowing somebody of influence. And, yeah, I met them. Yeah, they shook my hand. Well, I'll never wash this hand again. Oh, they kissed me on this jaw. Oh, wow, I'll never forget it. Running after folks and doing all kinds of things, trying to get autographs and all these type of things. Praise the Lord. All these things, praise the Lord, that are temple. But the Lord said, we got to hunger and thirst for him. And if we hunger and thirst for him, then he fills us with the things that we need this morning. Man, God is good this morning. God is good this morning, and you need to praise him for all his wonderful works. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you.
precious name this morning. We thank you right now, the name of Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Lord God, for all that you're doing right now. Your spirit is moving. Healings are happening right now, Lord God, in the mind, in the heart, in the spirit, Lord God. You're working. Oh, you're renewing and you're restoring right now. Father, we ask this morning for that new song, joy and peace, that we worship you, the beauty of holiness, that, that we worship you like you want to be worshipped. We glorify you like you want to be glorified. We thank you right now, those you're going to save. We thank you for all that you're doing right now. Use us mightily in this earth. Hallelujah. Let us go forth with your wisdom and knowledge. Right now. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. I thank you this morning, Lord God, for all the people of God that have covered and came around me and my wife. And I thank you for all your help. Lord, I just ask you that you continue to touch and bless and strengthen every, all those that stand in your name, every minister that minister in your name this morning. Stand in your name. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, Jesus. You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, my faith will stay. This world. 